Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, you know, I, I think Mize and, and Turnbull are pitch well against us and our guys that are that are, you know, having really strong years for them. So, you know, they're a couple of challenging outings, but bottom line is we got to be better. You know, we got to get better. We're going to be the team we expect to be, uh, you know, that a lot of that is built around uh, what we expect to be offensively. And there's no question that that has to improve. Uh, I believe it will improve, but we got to continue to work and make sure you know, we're, we're making necessary adjustments each and every day to, to get to that point. But if we're going to be the club we expect to be, we've, we've got to, we've got to improve. Do you think the approaches need to change? And do you get the sense that guys in that lineup are trying to do too much? I don't know, but I, you know, I, I, I think you can make that case a little bit early about trying to do too much. You know, when you're getting out of the shoot and we got off to a little bit of slow start, but I don't think it's so much that, um, you know, I, I think it's just, you know, going up there and, and, and execute. And, you know, when you do get a good good count or a good situation or or get a mistake pitch, we gotta we gotta take advantage of it. We haven't been doing that enough. Take the next one from Ken David up. Hi, Aaron. When you guys are struggling uh, with runners in scoring position and you have the situation like the, the second inning, bases loaded, no outs and and the double play, do you think that uh, creates a, you know, a snowball effect? Like, do you think that, you know, gets guys down and, and you know, and, and makes it? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know because I don't think we really mounted enough or created enough traffic to really get in a really good situation later in the game. Maybe we had one opportunity or whatever it was and we we're kind of chasing at that point. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, uh, certainly that can happen at di different times. I don't necessarily think that was the case today. And do you, do you think about changing anything up lineup wise? Uh, I mean, I mean, I've got two big guys coming back in tomorrow, you hope. Right. Um, I mean, uh, get Tyler Wade in there more right, or, right. or just. just um, I mean, I think about a lot and. Uh, <clears throat> um, I mean, the, the roster we're at right now, you know, I think we do change up quite a bit, you know, um, we do have different sort of lineups each and every day, but if we're going to be the club, we expect to be, um, you know, we need to get, uh, the guys that are, we expect to, to carry a lot of the load offensively to really get going. Thank you. Ron. Yeah. President Cuddy, you have the next question. Aaron, what did you see from Odor on that ball up the middle, and does he have to pocket that? I don't know. If, I'd have to look at it again. Um, at first, I didn't, you know, my vantage point, I thought it was going up the middle. He kind of came out of nowhere to, to make the play. I'd have to look at it again if he has to pocket it. It seemed like maybe if he makes a perfect throw, he's got a chance, but uh, you, you might know better than that, having seen the replay, uh, which I haven't seen yet. So, I thought it was a good job of getting to it and, and, and not a ball that was hit overly hard. So a good job of, of sticking it uh, with the glove. I'd have to see if, if he's got a pocket that or not. We'll go back to Meredith. Aaron, what was your overall impression of Davey Garcia this afternoon? He battled, you know, I thought, I thought it was a little bit of a struggle, you know, command wise, um, you know, some good pitches, some that were just, you know, kind of balls out of hand and things like that. So, um, you know, I thought he battled for not being totally sharp. Um, and, he, you know, like we always see with him, you know, demeanor wise and compete wise, um, you know, he's not affected with with what's going on, good or bad. He just he's, he's out there grinding and working. I thought he did that well. But, you know, I thought he was a little bit inconsistent just command wise. Do you expect him to get another start? And do you have a plan for tomorrow that you can announce? Michael King will pitch tomorrow. Um, and, and we'll see. We'll just, you know, kind of a fluid situation. We'll talk through some things and, and we'll see. Yeah. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, I'm not sure if I have the stat right or not, but is it possible that you guys have used maybe like 42 lineups in 51 games or 52 games? And I just wanted with the 
you have been rotating through a ton of them. I mean, it, it doesn't surprise you that just lately you haven't been able to find a little bit of a, a mix that has worked. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what the number is. Um, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we have the guys that are capable of doing it and, and we just got to all rally around and make sure we're buttoned up and as prepared as we can be going into each and every day. And, you know, these are the guys that are going to have to carry us uh, to where we expect to go. Thanks. Yeah. Back to Brendan Cuddy. Aaron, I have a feeling I know your answer to this, but it's one thing when there are a couple guys in the lineup struggling, but it's really throughout a lot of the lineup. Is it too much to ask for that many guys to turn it around at this point in the season? No, because we're talking about guys with track records and guys that are, you know, in large, in a large sense, in the prime of their career, and we know what they're capable of. So, um, you know, you hope and trust and believe that, you know, the integrity of the 162 will work itself out. But that said, we got to have that urgency of making sure we're buttoned up, prepared, making the necessary adjustments um, to, to kind of dig ourselves out of that and start to turn this around, you know, offensively like, we, like we're capable of. Dan Martin. Aaron, you just mentioned the urgency. Are you seeing that uh, from everyone? I am. I am. I, th I think, look, anytime offensively you don't mount much or you, you know, you struggle to score runs, you know, it always has that look to being flat. I mean, that's just as long as we do this, it, it kind of has that look. So I know these guys. Um, are preparing. I know how much they care. I know. I know what they expect of themselves. So I know there's a level of frustration that it's not happening. So we just got to keep working at it. 